De nieren zijn boomvormige organen van ongeveer 12 centimeter groot. Ze liggen aan de rugzijde van je lichaam, ter hoogte van je taille. Ieder mens heeft twee nieren, die links en rechts van je wervelkolom liggen. In de nieren wordt urine gevormd. De urine stroomt van de nier via de urineleider naar je blaas. En vanaf je blaas via de urinebuis naar buiten. De nieren hebben drie belangrijke functies. Schadelijke afvalstoffen uit je bloed filteren en via urine afvoeren. De vocht- en zoutbalans in je lichaam regelen. Het produceren van hormonen. The renal system consists of the kidneys, the connecting arteries and veins, and the urinary tract. The kidneys are paired, bean-shaped organs lying outside the peritoneal cavity in the back of the upper abdomen, one on each side of the vertebral column. The kidneys function as the body's main excretory organs, eliminating the body's metabolic waste products by filtering the blood. Substances that are unneeded or are present in excess are filtered out of the blood and form into urine, moving via the ureter into the bladder before being expelled through the urethra. The kidneys also selectively reabsorb those substances that are needed to maintain the normal composition of the blood. By adjusting blood composition, the kidneys are able to maintain blood volume and pressure, ensure the proper balance of sodium, chloride, potassium, calcium, hydrogen, phosphate and pH, and eliminate products of metabolism such as urea, uric acid, and creatinine. The medial border of the kidney is indented by a deep fissure called the hilus, where the blood vessels, nerves, and ureters connect to the kidney. The kidney is composed of up to 18 lobes. Each lobe is composed of nephrons. Nephrons are the functional units of the kidney, and each kidney contains more than one million nephrons. Each nephron consists of a glomerulus and a system of tubules. The glomerulus is a unique, high-pressure mass of capillaries that filters the blood. The glomerulus is encased in a thin, double-walled capsule called Bowman's capsule. The space inside the capsule and surrounding the glomerulus is called Bowman's space. Plasma-like fluid is filtered from the capillary blood into Bowman's space through the glomerular filtration membrane. The glomerular filtration membrane consists of three layers of capillary wall, the endothelium, the basement membrane, and the epithelium. This membrane allows some particles from the blood to pass through, but not all. The fluid that is filtered from the capillary blood into the Bowman's space is called filtrate and forms the primary urine. The filtrate then diffuses across Bowman's space and into the tubule system of the nephron. In the tubules, some substances are added to the filtrate as part of the urine formation, and some substances are reabsorbed out of the filtrate and back into the blood. The nephron tubule is divided into four segments. The filtrate passes through each of these segments before reaching the ureter. A highly coiled segment called the proximal convoluted tubule, which drains Bowman's capsule and where almost complete absorption of nutritionally important substances takes place. A thin looped structure called the loop of Henle, which reabsorbs water and ions from the urine and plays a role in controlling the concentration of urine. A distal coiled portion called the distal convoluted tubule, which regulates potassium, sodium, and pH, and where further dilution of the urine takes place. And the collecting tubule, which joins with several tubules to collect the filtrate and where final sodium regulation takes place. Each kidney is supplied with blood by a single renal artery that arises on its respective side of the aorta, before dividing into five segmental arteries that enter the hilus. Within the kidney, each segmental artery branches into several lobular arteries. The lobular arteries further subdivide to form interlobular arteries, which branch off into afferent arterioles. Blood flows into the glomeruli through the afferent arterioles. Blood flows out of the glomerulus through the efferent arteriole. The afferent and efferent arterioles regulate glomerular capillary pressure by selectively dilating or constricting.